Hey there, this is Stan, K9SWX, and I recently did a video about getting the repeater list updated in the ICOM 705. And I had somebody ask me, um, they noticed that the only repeaters that showed up in there were D-Star repeaters and not the FM analog repeaters. So I decided to do some digging, and while ICOM only has D-Star repeaters on their website, um, there is a way to import from repeater book uh, both the D star and FM analog repeater. So today I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is go to repeaterbook.com. And if you don't have a, an account, go ahead and create one. It's free. And once you're logged in, we're going to go to North American repeaters. And then for my purposes, I'm going to do Illinois because that's where I'm at. So I'm going to click on Illinois there. And then I'm going to hit all for all bands. Seems to be the quickest and easiest to do that, to do this. And you'll see it's got, you know, 10 meters, 6 meters, 2 meters. And if you go all the way to the bottom, you get, uh, you know, 900 megahertz, 1.2 gig, all that. But we don't we don't have to worry about that because it's going to the export is going to take care of filtering out this stuff. So what we're going to do is come up here to export, and we're going to come down to ICOM, and I've got the 705, so I'm going to do the 70 CS705, and then I'm going to do repeater list. So then you get this repeater group list export parameters. So for me, I'm doing the 705. If you've got one of the other radios, you can go that route. I'm doing comma for this one and group index, group name. I'm just going to name mine Illinois. And I want mine sorted by city. And the second, I'll just do call sign just in case there's multiple repeaters in the same city. Um, I like to use tone squelch on my analog FM repeaters. That way, if there's multiple repeaters on the same frequency and there's band opening or something, or if there's just interference, it won't open your squelch until the actual tone from the repeater is sent. So I like to use that. And then just click I agree and then hit download. So what we get here is a CSV file. RBE, ICOM, blah, blah, with the date and all that. So I'm going to open this. I'm going to open it in Excel, but it'll also work uh, if you're on a Mac. You can use Numbers or you can use Google Sheets if you want to do it in the cloud. Um, there's other free programs, so you don't have to have Excel. But uh, I'm going to open this up here. We can see it. There we go. Okay, let me zoom in a bit. There we go. So basically, um, I, as we mentioned, it'll so it's sorted by city first, and then if there's multiple um, repeaters in that same city, then it sorts by call sign. So, like down here, Batavia, we we've got this one, and then it goes in by alphabetical order by call sign. So that's pretty cool. Um, so this is what we get, and this is what we're going to import in, but there's a couple things that you need to be aware of. Um, first of all, this subname, um, some of these, like this is a hospital, OSF, Saint something. Um, and there's just a lot of these have different, like this is Rend Lake for this one. Personally, I like to have just, you know, whatever the state is, because when you see it on the screen, you want it to, I want it to say Illinois or whatever state that it's, that I'm pulling up here, like BMI, you know, that's Bloomington, that's like the airport code there, but I'd rather, you know, we already know it's Bloomington over here in the city, so I would, personally, I would just change all these to Illinois, so what I'm going to do is copy this, and let's see if I can do this, let me scroll all the way down. And I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to do, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to do Command D. But if you're on a, a Windows machine, you do Control D. And it should fill it down, which it did. So 
all of them now say Illinois. So that, that makes it look a little better, in my opinion. <laughs> but, you know, if you don't care, that's cool, too. Um, the other thing is, if, you know, your main reason for doing this, um, if, you, if you've got D-Star repeaters, which, which I do, um, you got to be, you got to re, you got to kind of massage the, the data here for these digital repeat, these D star repeaters, because, um, the radio and the repeaters are looking for eight characters. And what I mean by that is like this one is like, you've got a call sign, which is five characters, but they wanted to fill out all the way to eight. So right now there's only one space in here. That's the six character. So this only goes out seven. You want this B or this A to be at the very end. So we need to add another space to this one as well as for the the gateway call. So we're going to add another space there because what happens is, which I discovered when I was researching to make this video, is if you don't do that, you bring this up and you can't connect to your repeater, your D-Star repeater, because it'll show a little X with a GW, which means, hey, this isn't connected to the internet, which it really is, but it's, it's if you don't feed it the right data or the right call sign with the right spacing, then it doesn't know any better. So what I also discovered is if, if the call sign is six, um, six letters, characters instead of five or four, um, it's fine, but it's it's these little ones that you got to kind of massage. Like this one's only four, so we got five, and then we got to add a couple spaces. Let me make sure I got that right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this last letter is the eighth character. That's what you want. So you want to do that in both the repeater call and the gateway call. So, oops, and then sometimes it'll add a dot, and you don't want to do that. So, let's see if I did that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, perfect. So, basically, you got to got to, there's, at least in my area, there's not that many D star repeaters. So, um, you know, once you do it once, that's it's probably all you need to do. But, you know, just scroll through here, and here's a whole bunch more. You can tell which ones they are by either looking over here at DV or just looking at the ones that have the gateway calls because that's all D star ones are only going to have those. Your analog repeaters, you don't have to worry about. So, when you get all this done, what you want to do is save it. And we're just going to, I'm going to do a save as, but you could do a save if you want. But you got to keep it in this CSV format, comma separated values. So, I'm just going to throw it in here. I'm going to hit save and it's going to say yes, replace it. So there's that. Now the other thing I want is I don't want just Illinois because sometimes I go to Indiana or sometimes I go up to Iowa and I want to have my radio programmed. So, you know, I don't know those areas as well as my local, local area. So I want to be able to go into the 705 and select nearby repeaters and have it not only pull up the D-Star repeaters, but also the analog repeaters. And I think that's a really cool feature that ICOM has on a lot of their radios, which I've just discovered on their 705. So um, we're going to go back to the repeater, or repeater book, and I'm going to go back into North American repeaters. And this time I'm going to do Indiana. I'm going to do all, and then uh, we're going to do export again, ICOM, 705, repeater list. Now this time we're going to do group index 2, and we're going to call it Indiana. And we're going to do city, and then call sign, check the box, check the box, we're going to hit download. Alright, so I'm going to open up that one. And I'm going to throw it in Excel again. And I'll edit these later. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this stuff. And I'm going to copy and paste it into another file. Or at the, the end of 
the Illinois file. All right, so I'll come down here to the first line and I'm going to paste. And as you can see, all the Illinois ones are group in number one and it says Illinois. Now all the Indiana ones will be number two and it'll say Indiana. Because once you get this into the radio, you'll be able to pick your groups. So it'll say Illinois, Indiana, and I'm going to do Iowa as well here in a minute. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to copy this. And then we're going to go down to the end here so they all say Indiana. And you don't have to do this, but I I just like it to look kind of uniform. So there, now all those say Indiana. So we're going to go back and we're going to do Iowa. So we go back to North American Repeaters. We pick Iowa. We hit all. And then we're going to do export, icon, CS705, and then repeater list. And then this one, we're going to do three for the group index. We're going to do Iowa for the group name. Put this on city and call sign. Check the boxes and hit download. And we're going to open that one up. Open it in Excel. All right, so we're going to copy all this. And then we're going to come over to our Illinois and Indiana one. And then we'll find the blank line, paste. And there we go. I'm going to copy this down. So all these say Iowa now. Whoops. Okay, and I'm going to do a file, save as, and I am just going to call it, well, I've already got one here, but I'm going to do Illinois underscore Indiana underscore Iowa underscore, like repeatedly, it, it doesn't really matter too much what you call it, let's just make sure it's a CSV, so I'm going to go ahead and save it, replace it. I'm going to go ahead and go through all the D-star repeaters and make sure it has all the right spacing. And then we'll come back and show you how to put it on the SD card of the 705. Okay, so I've got the SD card from the 705 in the computer here. And it, on mine it says no name is the name of the card and it has the IC705. So we're going to go into that. And we want to put it under CSV. And then repeater list folder. So this is my old one. I'm going to go ahead and put the new one in, which has my corrections to D star. It's going to ask me to replace. Go ahead. Okay, so that's all we need to do there. And now we're going to, um, on the Mac, I go ahead and eject the SD card. And then I will put it back into the radio. All right. So before I load in the new file, let me just show you something here on the screen. As you can see, I've got our local repeater in here. But with the old file that I did not manipulate the call sign to go to eight characters, we've got this XGW, which t the radio is telling me, hey, this, this isn't an Internet-connected repeater, so I can't help you. It's just because we don't have the right spacing on the the two call signs that uh, that I showed you earlier. So what we're going to go do here is we're going to go into menu and then we're going to go to set SD card import export. I'm going to go up to import repeater list and the one I want is down here the Illinois Indiana Iowa repeater list. It says keep skip, skip settings. Let's go ahead and hit yes. Import file. This goes pretty quick. And then it wants us to restart the radio, so we'll shut it off. And then turn it back on. And let's see what we got. We're going to go into the DR mode over here. 
Okay, so now we've got this. What I like to do is do the near repeater, and then we're going to do repeater all. And there we go. We've got our um, both D star and our analog. So if I hit one of these, see now it does not have that gateway X listed next to it because I've fixed the the call sign in the file before I imported it. So if we go back here and do new repeater, even if we just if we just want FM repeaters, we can do that too. So now, you know, we just have the analog. I can just kind of scroll through here, and it shows all the FM repeaters within. Well, it looks like 40 miles, which is good enough for me, especially if I'm. I don't have an external antenna other than the, you know, um, like a Slim Jim antenna. So, <laughs> so there you have it. Um, we'll go back here and do all, and we'll just do that one, and then you go in here, and now you can do whatever you want to do here. Because before, when it says when it has that X next to gateway. A lot of this stuff you can basically only go local CQ and that's it. So, anyway, um, I hope that was helpful. Um, at least for me, I, being able to bring in multiple states of repeaters and then use that nearby repeater feature um, of the 705 and many other D Star radios that ICOM has uh, is a pretty, pretty sweet and useful feature. So, uh, there you go. Uh, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, uh, shoot them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you later. 73. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and make sure to ding my bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks again and 73 from K9SWX.